Good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about two of the most important domestic inventions that are nearly in everybody's house. They're washing machines and dryers. Humans began to wear clothes 170,000 years ago, and then they started inventing lots of products, like jackets, socks, and sheets, that need to be washed after even one single wear. Before the invention of washing machines and dryers, doing laundry was one of the hardest chores around the house. So let's see how our ancestors dealt without these inventions. The ancient Egyptians were the first people to think of using the water current in rivers to clean their clothes. They even used rocks to beat the clothes and remove all the dirt from it. And then they would dry them in the sun which might take hours or even days, depending on the weather too. Then the Romans created the idea of the public laundries, or as they call them, the public wash houses. People would go there once a week to do all their laundry. Before the invention of the modern washing machines that we all know right now, there were some inventions that worked as a bridge for our modern machines to be invented. In 1787, the scrub board was invented, utilizing the idea of scrubbing the fabrics to get clean clothes with no dirt on them. These boards were usually made of wood or glass, and they'd have some basic designs on them. This idea worked even more perfectly when they discovered that animal fat can be used to remove the dirt from the clothes. Meanwhile, in 1800, the first hand-cranked clothes dryer was invented by a French person called M. Pouchon, his device was working by rotating the clothes in a cylinder over fire till they are dry. Our second device is the rotary machine. That was the idea of Hamilton Smith, who tried to invent a more automated machine to save much more time and effort than the scrub boards. This device was rotated by hand to squeeze the water out of the clothes. Then, in 1908, Alda Fischer created the first ever washing machine that works by electricity. She called her invention the Thor. What made her invention more different than all the other inventions that she used an electric motor instead of the manual work. In the 20th century, the first automatic dryer was invented by Ross Moore, but it was available for the public in 1938. So, we've seen how the washing and drying process started with using a river and the sun till it reached the electricity. Now we're going to talk about our modern washing machines and dryers. Hello everyone, I'm Omnia Torek. I will talk about types and mechanisms of washing machine. Top loader washing machine in this design, clothes are put in the top of, ma of the machine in a vertical fixed basket which is pierced by many small holes. This basket is fixed in a water retaining tub. And also top loading machine is considered a vertical axis machine. Every top loading machine have agitator or impeller. An agitator is a fixed at the center of the bottom of the machine which pumps water during the wash cycle. The agitator pushes water outward between the paddles toward the edge of the tub. Then water moves up the sides of the basket toward the center and after that down toward the agitator to repeat the process in a circular manner comparative to the shape of a torse. Some washers supply the agitator with an expensive turning screw on the shaft over the agitator to assist move water downward within the center of the basket. Another alternative to the agitator is an impeller, which is mounted on the side of the top and spin in a steady direction, making a quick moving current of water within the top. This drags the clothes through the water in a toroidal way. The impeller design had the advantage of, of its mechanical straightforwardness, but it has disadvantage of lower stack capacity. Also, there are three modes in top loading washing machine, which are reversible motor, mode transmission, reversible motor with mode changing transmission. And the second type of washing machine is front loading washing machine. Front load washers work by filling the bottom of the internal bucket with a few amounts of water and utilizing the revolution of the top and, gra and gravity to move the clothes through the water. The side paddles located on the interior drum lift the clothes and move them in and out of the water. 
This process gives the cleaning required to remove soil from fabrics. This mechanism allows front washers to use less water though less detergent. The mechanical components in top washers are much simpler than that of the top loading machines. However, they require re regular maintenance since their, their structure allows for tangling and buildup of mold. Although the mechanical inner components are simpler, the electronic control for more work is not. The electronics controlled by many computer components are built so that the entire unit must be recovered in case one component fails. Although differences, there are similarities between top washers and front washers. Both utilize a stainless steel internal drum as well as an external wash top and engine, control farm work, tablet pump, and rotational spanning to evacuate water from the clothes. And there the likenesses end. Hello, this is Donia Remah. Now that we've finished talking about the washing machines and their mechanism, I'm going to talk to you about the dryers. There are mainly two types of dryers. There is one that uses heat to absorb the moisture from the cloth, and there is another one that uses centrifugal force to remove additional water from the load. First, I'm going to talk about the heat pump dryers. These dryers use hot air to evaporate the moisture from the cloth. However, this process isn't energy sufficient, since the hot humid air used to be released to the surrounding environment. One of the latest updates of this technology is the heat pump dryer. The hot humid air from the tumbler, which is the rotating drum where clothes are, is passed through a heat pump, where there are two sides, a cold side and a hot one. The cold side condenses the water and stores it in a tank or a drained pipe and the hot side reheats the semi-dry air and is preserved, allowing for its reuse in the cycle. Therefore, these dryers use 50% less energy than other dryers that use the same technique. Now, I'm going to talk about the spin dryers. These dryers use the centrifugal force of high-speed spinning tumble. They can extract the same amount of water from the same load in 5 minutes, while a heat dryer takes about 20 minutes to do the same amount. These dryers save a significant amount of time and energy. Usually, there are holes in the tumble to allow the slipping water to get drained, so it doesn't rewet the clothes. Unfortunately, these dryers don't dry the clothes 100%. So, additional drying time in the sun or in another dryer that uses heat is required. However, the whole process takes a lot less time than starting in a heat dryer with a completely wet load. Washing machines and dryers have developed drastically throughout history. Let's go way back in time and take a look at the first ever invented washing machine. We could say that the rise of automatic washing machines started at the period just before World War II. In 1937, Bendix Home Appliances introduced the first domestic automatic washing machine that surely astonished people at that time. It was a front loader with a glass porthole door. It had a rotating drum and an electrically driven mechanical timer. It had the ability to fill, wash, rinse and spin dry automatically. It lacked a vibration damper, so it had to be firmly secured to the ground to prevent walking. Now looking at today's washers and dryers, we find that their features vary a lot depending on what a user is particularly looking for. This year's Samsung washer and dryer combo is definitely an example to mention. It offers a decent amount of space created by the dual compartments. It has an endless list of settings to choose from for your washing process, providing gentle care for the fabric. For the drying process, the upper delicate dryer with multi-steam technology prevents shrinking and fabric damage. It comes with vibration reduction technology. It includes smart features like Wi-Fi connectivity, SmartThings compatibility, and the ability to pair with the Samsung app to monitor cycles easily. After analyzing the old-time washing machine and dryer and the modern one, we find some obvious differences from the engineering point of view and the user's point of view. Considering the engineering point of view, we notice the developments of washers and dryers in design, mechanism, performance, and much more in order to cope with the latest technologies and updates. Of course, the washing and drying process became fully automated, where there are controls for controlling nearly everything, like the water level and temperature, spin speed, cycle program, noise and vibration reduction, 
and drying time and temperature. And, as mentioned before, machines became smart. Also, since washers today use less electricity to run the machine, they're considered energy efficient. They're also environment friendly, as there's less waste in terms of electricity or gas consumption through the use of insulating materials and efficient thermostats. As for the people, the daunting task of washing and drying clothes has become easier thanks to the drastic development over the years. There are now many design options for front loaders and top loaders that will satisfy every taste. Also, there are wide price ranges available, where at the time of the first washer, it's needless to say that it was extremely expensive. Most washers now offer large capacities, excellent care for the fabric, and easy smart control with just a touch of a button. Also, for parents and pet owners, there's the anti-lock where the settings are locked after a certain number of minutes to prevent any accidents. All these features make washers and dryers indispensable to households at present times, and certainly in the future as well. Looking back at the past, washing clothes was extremely difficult, but after the development of washing machines, it has become much easier. As it saves more time than hand washing, you don't have to sit and monitor the washing process. You can load your clothes in the machine, start the cycle, and walk away. It also eliminates the energy required to wash clothes, but with the hand washing, you need to do more physical effort to clean them. It gives properly clean clothes with no stains, and wash many kinds of fabrics with different sizes. It has different cycles that you can set it up according to the load. You can use hard cycles for heavy loads and delicate cycles for your delicates. They are available in different sizes that can fit it in any required space. Washing machines features are easy to use control with digital display. That means your child is capable of controlling them. Finally, there are many types of washing machines with different prices that makes it more suitable for many people. Unfortunately, front loading has some drawbacks, as it takes more time than other machines, on average about 20 to 30 minutes more than top loading washers. Front loading washers require bending for loading and unloading, which can be uncomfortable for many people. We also can't add more clothes in mid-wash with most models. Front loaders has larger dimensions which make it difficult to put it in smaller areas and it has smaller capacity than top loaders. They are often more expensive to buy than other washers. And also top loading washers are imperfect. Many top loader washers make more noise than other washers during a wash cycle. It also consumes more water than the front loading one. It consumes more than 40 gallons per load. It requires a higher amount of detergent, needs a permanent water connection, and some models with agitator can be tough on clothes, which could damage it or harm it. Finally, it needs more energy as it uses more water. Hello, this is Donia Remach once again. Now we've seen that Many even simple items we pass by daily and never cycle. think about for it two seconds have a history. And although the their function one, may seem simple, their mechanism isn't. A lot of it time and effort have been put into developing these products. It's easy to know the difference between the first ever invented control, one and the most modern hard. one, in Finally, functionality, comfort, and user interface as well. As usual, and engineers applied the sciences learned perfect. throughout the centuries to Many develop this product, make making it what it is today. Thank you for your it time. It also consumes more water than the front-loading one. It consumes more than 40 gallons per load. It requires a higher amount of detergent, needs a permanent water connection, and some models with agitator can be tough on clothes, which could damage it or harm it. Finally, it needs more energy as it uses more water. And also top loading washers are imperfect. Many top loader washers make more noise than other washers during a wash cycle.